Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello. My name is Muhammad Ashraf bin Taril and my supervisor is Dr. Kamaru Alfizam bin Ismail. So my undergraduate project title is Develop the Balas System and Maneuver the Fish Trap by Using Remote Control. For introduction, fish, fish trap are passive fishing gear and are designed that the fish can enter voluntarily into the passage and become non eaten device. So we can see from the, the fish first picture. And majority of the fish trap have one or multi opening from this picture. And fishing trap are cost effective and have energy related advantage of the active fishing method. So without much thought, the concept of catching fish might have led to the, con the development of traps. So the, de the development of offshore fish trap technology has recently been driven by the limitation of near shore site expansion. So the development of fish trap technology that can be summarized may be necessary to avoid several operational challenges that exist with surface-based aquaculture. In problem statement, additional way of operating fish trap has some of fitness. Fish trap might be lost or unrecovered and may cause damage during extreme weather. And the other witness is time consuming. During operation, the fish trap take a longer time to operate the fish trap. From General Kim and others have developed an autonomous submersible fish cake system. So this fish trap just need to place at any location at the sea or lake and will automatically submerge. We can see from this picture. However, there is no fish trap that able to control remotely by using remote control and able to float and sink. And the present work will develop the ballast tank for the fish trap to float and sink and control the movement of the fish trap by using remote control to move, uh, to move to a specific place and return to its origin without any problem. And the objective of this project is to develop a ballast system for the fish trap to submerge for 5 meter depth and to maneuver the fish trap by using remote control. And the scope of work is to maneuver the fish trap by using remote control and test out at swimming pool UTM. And ballast system is designed for the fish trap to be able to submerge in 5 meter depth and floating to the fish surface with 10 kg weight of fish. And the depth and the depth test of the ballast system will be test out at the swimming pool UTM either ballast tank ballast system is successful or not. So pressure test will be conducted on the ballast tank by using air compressor from 1.0 bar until 2.5 bar and pneumatic lab. In literature review, in terms of ballast system, from General Tusa and others in 2015, state there are many types of ballast tank that can be used for UUV. The first one is flexible ballast tank. So the flexible ballast tank consists of a rubber balloon placed inside a rigid tank. So to flood the tank, the valve is open and the water is pumped into the rubber balloon until the balloon up, up until the balloon fill up the space of tank. And the other one is vented ballast tank. Vented ballast tank is same as the flexible ballast tank, but in a different way. So when the tank is filled up, the air is released throughout the vent. And for the third one is pressure ballast tank. Pressure ballast tank consists of steel ballast tank capable to withstand high pressure. So the air is stuck at the, so the air is trapped inside the ballast tank and the air is being compressed when the water is pumped inside the tank. And for the last one is piston ballast tank. Piston ballast tank consists of cylinder and a, and a movable piston. So piston can be moved with a threaded shaft, motor and spindle nut bearing. So piston is sealed with a two soft o-ring to prevent the water from leaking the other side. From Jenna Yuna, Yun, Yun and others in 2015 discussed the water hydrogen circuit used for the Bala system with Shinkai 6500 circuit of Japan and Jailong circuit of China. So these two circuits have a problem with sealed valve in two way, two over two way valve. If we can see from this picture. So two-way two valve is not suitable because the back pressure is always greater than the ballast tank pressure. So an extra force such as a solid nut one required to switch the two over two wave valve, then additional energy is consumed. So to overcome this problem, new circuit is suggested, which has three pilot valve. We can see three pilot valve and a check valve. And now this new circuit is able 
to reduce the tension state such as inverse flow and elastic pressure from the deep sea environment. And from Jenna Mac, Mark McDonald and Matthew Bryan in 2017 proposed variable ballast system, which ballast tank design consists of rigid ballast tank with an inner elastic bladder to separate the air inside the tank from the working plate. So elastic bladder to ensure that no air accidentally escape during the venting operation, regardless of the vehicle orientation. So when the water is pumped inside the tank, so this pre-charged air will be compressed. So when the water is want to bleeding, fan valve, valve will be open and the, the compressed air will push the water outside going outside the tank. For in terms of remote operating vehicle, ROV are highly maneuverable and controlled from a command center by teleoperated robots. So according to Hashimoto and others 2018, the ROV must the ROV system must consist of automatic vehicle, a server for remote control, monitoring and communication tools. So the remote control operator will stay in front of the machine during service. So if for some reason contact between the remote server and automatic vehicle is not possible, so automatic vehicle will stop. And remote monitoring device for vehicle can use smartphone apps to help users operate their vehicle. So the benefit of so remote monitoring system for vehicle consists of four parts: is terminal for vehicle, server control valve mobile application and communication and communication network GPRS. So it allows you to view the vehicle location status information on the screen and monitor the vehicle via the smartphone. So the benefit of this system are single structure data transmission protection and good practical efficiency from Li Cheng and Zhang in 2016. For methodology, uh, this the project activity project. So I'll be planning and develop the ballast tank and install the RC. So I will test the ballast tank in terms of pressure test and depth test. And for the RC, by small RC, I will test at the swimming pool ATM and I will analyze the data. And we'll go to the preparation of the ballast tank. So piston ballast tank is in this project. So beyond C4 is calculated by using this formula. So beyond C4 is equal to volume of submerged times the density of water times the gravitational acceleration. So by calculating the buoyancy force, we are able to select a suitable size for ballast tank. And the critical in designing the ballast tank is to make sure that the fish tank is able to float. And the weight of the fish tank with the weight of fish must be less than buoyancy force of the ballast tank in order for the fish tank to float. So this is the structure of the fish tank that, we, that will be installed, the ballast tank to float and sink. And pipe PVC VS 457C is used to make the ballast tank with thickness 4.1 m that able to withstand pressure 6.3 bar to comply ISO 4422 stroke 2. For a piston, a light material is required to ensure that there is not too much adding weight for the fish tray. So polyethylene is used for a piston and this is the properties of the polyethylene. And this is uh, the design for the piston. And for the operation, the water will be going inside the other side and the air will be going inside the other side. And this is uh, the process of working process flowchart. So, and this is the schematic diagram of pneumatic system. We will start and maneuver the fish track at the desired location and we'll trigger the speed for sync system. Uh, when the system is uh, when the when the system is on, solenoid one will be energized to bleed the air and water pump will be on to go inside the, the ballast tank. After that, it will go to the maximum allowable pressure as uh, after maximum allowable pressure, it will stop the sink system and will in, in, it will be delayed for a certain time. So the fish track will be on after a certain time and will trigger the float system. And the float system will energize the solenoid 2 and solenoid 3. So if uh, solenoid 2 is, is for the air compressor to go inside the ballast tank and for the solenoid 3 is to bleeding the water until until the maximum allowable pressure for the air. And after that, it will, the system will end and maneuver the fish at the desired, desired location. This is the component used for the system. For the remote control, we uh, I use a Flyscast FS i6 which, got, which have 6 channels of input which only use 2 channels to, to maneuver the, the fish track and 1 channel to, to trigger the, the sync system. 
and this is the schematic diagram for the system. For this and discussion in analysis of the ballast tank, by calculating the buoyancy force, by calculating the total of buoyancy force in terms of ballast tank, material of the part uh, of the tank and, and the compressor tank, we can find the weight that it can handle for the protein. So I, I have been doing the length of pipe for five feet and three feet. In theoretical, the weight that can be handled is 13.43, but experiment 14 kilograms. So in terms of that, the error is 4.24%, which is still acceptable. So the experiment value is taken to remind the suitable size of ballast tank. So this is the, the, the data for every length of pipe. So we can uh, find uh, the weight of fish for every length of pipe. So the requirement is 10 kilograms. So we, uh, from this table, I will choose three feet of length of pipe. And the permission of ballast tank. For the first trial, the piston is used is from aluminum rod, but it's quite heavy. And for the second trial, the piston is made from uh, epoxy rosin. Uh, the piston is made up from epoxy rosin in order to replace the aluminum rod from the light weight. So unfortunately, this finished product of epoxy rosin piston is failed and is unable to use inside the ballast tank because there is so much bubble. Uh, there is so much hole because during the curing process, there is so much bubble and to eliminate the bubbles, we need to supply continuous heat. And for the third tire, we, uh, I use uh, poly polyethylene in order to avoid risk of fail by making the piston using epoxy resin again. For this table, uh, I use uh, I make a comparison between aluminum rod and poly polyethylene rod. And present tests have been conducted and to know the time taken to move the piston in three feet in one bar pressure. So from this picture, it shows that polyethylene is much faster compared to aluminum rod because Polyethylene is much lighter compared with aluminum rod, which is 0 0.3 kg and the aluminum rod is 1 kg. And this is the pressure test I do for the PE rod because uh, in this project, two ballast tanks are used. So we need two pistons. So from, from the graph, it shows that the graph, uh, the, when the air pressure increases, the time taken is decreased. So from the graph, it shows that it's exponentially decreased. So when air pressure increase, it will increase the force to move the piston inside and it will take a shorter time to move in three feet. And the operation of ballast tank. So by two ballast tank, so the water is going inside the ballast tank in the opposite direction. This one and this one. And the air also in the opposite direction. This, uh, this is to prevent the fish trap from flitting backward or from flitting uh, upward or backward. And the idea of water and air going inside the ballast tank is same, which the pressure does not change when the, water, the, when the tank is filled with air and water. So when the piston has it at the end of tank, the pressure starts to build up and will increase the pressure for both air and water. So the pressure sensor, I will, I will use 0 0.4 bar condition. So before 0 0.4 bar and uh, the system will be stopped. For the sinking process and for the 40 percent, the system will be stopped after when it is 0.4 bar. And for the time taken for sinking is take 278.34 seconds, which is uh, term of 4 minutes 38 seconds. And for floating is 36.05 seconds. So uh, water pump is capable to pump the water in 5.5 liter per minute. So in theory for 8.4 liter takes around 1113 second. So for Two ballast tank is 226 seconds. So the what? So uh, this is much faster compared with the sinking process. So uh, because when sinking process, the ballast tank, uh, the water pump need to pump the water for both side of each for each ballast tank. I need to push the piston for each tank, which take a slightly longer. So this because during uh. From upper, we, we, we can see from floating process in two bar with the uh, expression in two bar, it's much, uh, uh, there is much different because uh, during pressure test, there is no water. This, this pressure test with no water to move the piston during floating, uh, involved to move the piston. But during floating process, there's uh, water involved to move the piston. So there are two different medium. 
inside the ballast tank which is air and water. So to move the piston with the presence of water require more force compared with no water which is no resistance at all. And this is the picture of floating and this is the and this feature of sinking process and this feature of the fish test floating and this is the cruising test. So uh, from overall I say the fish test is able to cruise. Sana, sana, sana. In conclusion and recommendation, the desired outcome of this project is to develop the ballast system for the fish trap that able to carry 10 kg weight of fish and maneuver the fish trap by using remote control. So the pressure sensors are successful to detect the maximum allowable pressure inside the ballast tank for air and water during sinking and floating. So the fish are able to submit 5 meter depth and floating to fish surface without any problem. So the fish are able to maneuver around the swimming pool UTM and the sea without any problem by using remote, remote controller. So for better implement, implementation, the fish trap can be installed in GPS and make it an autonomous to keep track the location with less human temporary. So, no need to use RC to revive the fish trap by using the handphone only to pin the desired location and the fish trap will move to the desired location in automatically. So, make a robust access for the fish trap to go against the wave. Install the real time clock on the fish trap to sleep the device to save the battery. This is, uh, thank you.